Hey, how's it going everybody? Hey, I wanted to show you a really quick video on how to deglaze your front rotors. Um, even with factory brake pads, they will start to get a little shiny, which you can see right here. Um, I've tried to blow out the dust, I've squirted water inside the brake pads. Um, but every once in a while, my, my wife will complain about the, the vehicle making a little bit of noise. So this is before. Since this Honda Odyssey does not have any type of locker whatsoever, you can technically just stop the rotor, the axle with one hand. But literally, I just stopped it. So this is um, this is before. You can see how shiny it is right in here. Really nice and shiny. What that does is create a um, little bit of noise after a while. So what you do, just grab your normal snap-on screwdriver over this is afterwards so I already did this side looks like a machine you know so what you do you want to stop it and I'm in sandals which I don't think you should be doing that either unless you're a professional backyard mechanic technician I guess so what I'm trying to do is just put the I'm putting the screwdriver in between the little fins of the rotor okay so we stop that and literally we just grab some some sandpaper, whatever you're liking, and you just kind of come up and just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Find another spot, back and forth, back and forth. So technically what you want to do is just get rid of all that shine. Literally, you're not losing any material whatsoever. The rotors don't need to be turned. Um, there's no, when you apply the brakes, you know, they're not warped or anything, they just blaze. Um, I did forget to mention that you are supposed to press this caliper back a little bit, again with the screwdriver, so that the brake pads are not up against the, the rotor. But yeah, literally just by hand. It's kind of like burning a record or, or a CD. Also, you might want to use two hands. Um, do not get your your hand stuck in here. The back is a little more dangerous. Um, you do want to be careful. Same thing, just apply flat pressure. Like I said, it is a little hard with one hand. But um, but yeah. Stop it real quick for you. So we grab our screwdriver. Now both wheels are capable of doing whatever you want. What we're going to do is just stop this again. And now that the machine 